delta I P divided by delta P. It's a straightforward. Just put values in here. Epsilon is equal to the M and is 0.75 multiplied with delta I P, which is 10 divided by delta T, which is 0.025. After calculation, I get 300 volts. So that is average induced EMF in the scandry coil. For next part, and formula is epsilon ns delta phi divided by delta t. Let's arrange this expression for delta phi. Delta phi is equal to epsilon s multiply with delta t divided by n s. Again, put values in this expression for calculation of change in flux. Epsilon is equal to 300. I use epsilon from here. It is average induced EMF in the scan required. I mean, I use uh, result of first part. Multiply with delta t. Delta t is 0.025. That is given. Ns, which is 500 turns. After calculation, I get 1.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 well so that is value of change in flux hopefully guys you got my point let's move to next question